Europe has decided on the decarbonization strategy and that affects all parts of the energy supply chain. One of the parts is uh, gas storage. And uh, my partner today to discuss is Lubor Veleba, who is president of Gas Storage Europe and also Gas Storage Professional. And um, coming from the country where is a gas storage, I, I think I know, I, I know what gas storage is, but what is the usual uh, role of gas storage in energy system? Well, the traditional usage of gas storage is to provide seasonal flexibility because people warm houses with gas. So there's higher consumption in winter and lower gas consumption in summer. Gas storages uh, provide for this difference and this is what, what, what we mostly talk about. But it, it's, it's only the, the most visible part of the storage role in the energy system. Uh, what we often do not see is that there's also what we call a security of supply role. This is uh, for high impact, low probability events uh, gas stored close to the centers of demand. But there is also what we call a, a network value. So uh, the pipeline systems can be optimized through storage so that the investment or operational costs are kept as low as possible. In recent times, there have been quite substantial changes in, first of all, in European legislation. There have been, um, um, well, uh, separation of uh, transmission system operation and sales gas. There have been a lot of changes in LNG market, more active supply of LNG, and there have been more pipes inside uh, the European Union and better interconnection between the countries. Has it affected the model as gas storage operates today? Uh, in some way it has, but, but not so far not fundamentally. The, uh, what we see with interconnections is that physical gas flows across Europe change. So you probably don't have so much the traditional flow east-west, but it becomes more complex. Maybe there's also a little bit more west to east, uh, but storage operators can adapt to this. Uh, that, that, that's uh, that's uh, something we can easily accommodate. Uh, we see the uh, LNG sector uh, not providing the, the seasonal flexibility, so this is still very much the role of, of gas storage. And uh, as I was saying, the, w there is still great value in having gas close to the centers of demand, which is what storage provides. So the real challenge will be this decarbonization because, uh, well, uh, uh, natural gas is fossil fuel, there is a carbon footprint, and uh, there is a lot of expectations that electricity demand will grow with more intermittent electricity, particularly wind and also solar energy. Uh, and with this change, uh, what role could gas storages could play in the long term, I would say, in, in the decarbonized future of Europe? Or we will, it, dip, it will, we would say, depend on the role of gas, or it is a more broader concept of the energy system, how the gas storages could be used also in the longer term? I think the future will be rich. There will be many, many things we will see. The, the changes which are coming through the decarbonization targets is huge. Uh, the, 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 there are many things happening. Um, I think gas storage is looking forward to this change. It's, it's a great opportunity for us, we believe. Uh, and we see already today, maybe in a more traditional way, uh, gas storage serves as a backup for gas-fired power stations, which serve as a backup for renewable sources. So already today, we enable uh, building more renewable capacities in the market. In the longer term, I think we may see more technologies such as power to gas. So we would see more direct link between storage and electricity through this. But also, maybe even more longer term future, 
there are technologies under development uh, such as uh, uh, biomethane, synthetic uh, uh, methane, uh, which can be produced from renewable sources. So we could replace natural gas with uh, renewable gas. And in this way, we would be a renewable backup for renewable sources, which, uh, which would be a perfect fit. So, Luber, you see that the gas storages will be needed also in the decarbonized energy future for the European Union. We see energy storage needed today, and we see this uh, needed in, in future, no doubt. Yeah. And in the meantime, do you, would you expect that there some should be regulatory changes, or you would say that current regulatory framework is already good enough uh, to reflect on this step change in the European energy policy? I think in terms of regulation, I think there probably needs to be a review to allow storage operators uh, operating today to actually be around and to survive uh, until this future comes. Um, because uh, many of them are struggling financially and economically. Uh, yeah, because we have had one model and we are moving more market-based and, uh, and in the meantime you need to find good regulatory balance. Luber Velebe, thank you very much and we have now also the workshop so we have had a lot of good interventions and we will continue to discuss the issues and I assume next week there will be discussion on about the policies until 2050 so the storage operators are also something to contribute to this. Thank you very much. And I look forward to this. Thank you very much Andres. Thank you. Thank you.